You know, one couple's Instagram relationship turned into a real one, and now they have their own hashtag. People follow them because it's a love story on social media. Joining us right now, Tim and Kimber. Now, I have to divulge that Kim, uh, Tim actually runs CNN's Instagram account, see, so he has some power. And then Kimber is a photographer. So no wonder you guys have um, good access and good pictures, right? Kimber's joining us, Skype from Florida. So I think when people think about a relationship that um, is formed online, they go, murderer, someone's going to take my <laughs> credit card. They're not who they th say they are. What is your story? Um, I've heard all the things. Friends and family, they're, they're like, you know, you're going to meet up. Warning, they're gonna, warning. They're, yeah, they're going to murder you, and, and, and it's, a, it's a different thing. It's like if you spent year, a year or two years getting to know somebody, and you ended up showing up, uh, you know, to meet them, and they end up wanting to murder you, then you'd be like, well, great long game there, you know. It, uh, <laughs> you, you, you feel like there's, uh, you know, less pretension on Instagram because you're just presenting a series of photos. You're really being yourself. It feels more original. So how did you two meet Kimber? Um, um, it was a series of following, you know, one another and, you know. So you just follow each other? You didn't meet in person first? No. And like, go, no. I, I like that person. They're interesting. We can't, we can't like track. We're not historians. We can't go back and track who followed who first. And when one person started liking the other photos, it's just, you start yeah. noticing. So. And, and so where's your relationship now? Are you going to get to spend Valentine's Day together or just uh, on hashtag? No. Uh, probably no. Uh, I'm stuck in Florida, so. And he's in Atlanta, so. I probably just spend a nice FaceTime date, if that makes any sense. But I won't get to see each other this Valentine's Day. We got to see each other a few weeks ago for her birthday. So. Will you make up different hashtags for where you are in your relationship, or is it just the same hashtag? And what is it? We we uh, it's uh, chasing Tim and Kimber, uh, and uh, we we have that tag. And then each time we do meet up, we try to create a hashtag for that specific meetup. And then do people have you noticed that you have followers just because they're in love with your love story? I hope so. There's definitely a lot of people who you know have reached out and said that they they. Think that we're really really cute and they, they like what we're doing okay so kimber maybe you can give me some advice here for the folks who um are are thinking about a relationship online that they begin via hashtag and instagram or whatever it may be do you have some rules that you can help us with um really just if gravitate towards the people that you feel you connect with the most and get to know them the thing about Instagram is it's really a community. It's not just an app on a phone, and it's very easy to make friendships. And in our case, it blossomed from that, you know, from there. So we were fortunate, and I'm, I mean, you know. Wait, how far <laughs> is this relationship? Uh, uh, we met almost a year ago next month. You've been what? You've, been, you've known each other. You've been dating for that long. Not that long, but we met each other. Okay, let me ask this. Where is this relationship going? Is that too much pressure on Valentine's no, Day? No, no. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Kimber, you can explain a little bit more. Um, Kimber, Kimber's going to be moving to Atlanta. Woo-hoo-hoo! All right, then. No more hashtags is what you're saying. Real, uh, uh, real life hashtags, IRL. <laughs> yeah, right, from the kitchen. I'm going to hashtag you from the living room. Exactly, I love that. You guys, congratulations, and thanks for letting us look at, you know, love in the modern world, so to speak. Thank the you. hashtag relationships. And happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll get off the line so you guys can like wish each other well on a Valentine's Day. All right, Thank we're going to take a break, I think, and we'll be back. What's your hashtag today? Uh, Valentine's Day, Tim and Kimber. That's too long. Oh, okay. We'll think about it. We'll post it on my Twitter. <laughs>